Up next on Lion TV, we have a new episode of Discog with a special guest for a special artist, Jordan Jones with a story about the chess team, and me, Lily Lindsay, with all your weather updates. All that and more, Lion TV starts now. Good morning, Cersei High School. I'm Jordan Bowman. And I'm Linus Bowman. Let's get right into these morning announcements. For any high school student not already on the roster, tryouts are December 6th at 3.30 at the SHS baseball fields. Bring a current copy of your sports physical and glove, hat, and if you are a catcher and have gear, please bring it. For more information, contact Coach Gardner, Coach Davis, or Coach Donovan. Register for the December 9th ACT and get a free retest. This second chance can be the key to maximizing your super score, enhancing college applications, and unlocking scholarship opportunities. See the counselors for more information. 10th grade BMI assessments are scheduled for December 7th. Refusal forms are due on December 5th and no telephone refuses, refusals will be accepted. Also seniors, there are several current scholarship opportunities available. Please stop by the counselor's office for more details. Chess is a complex game of strategy that is favored by many across the world. Jordan Jones has the story of a club here on campus that focuses on just that. There are many clubs here at the high school, but one of the clubs that is most overlooked is the chess club. I had heard that there had not been a program for a couple of years, and so we just wanted to get that started and give students who are interested in chess an opportunity. Really, they just have to be able to already know how to play chess and be willing to come. Um, we meet Tuesday mornings at 7.30 until the bell rings for zero hour, and so they've got to be willing to come to practices. There are many things that the team does to prepare for games. They really, they come Tuesday morning, set up and practice and they learn, they typically learn from one another. We have an online site that we use to learn strategies, but really they just have to be willing to come and practice with their teammates. Team is also going to tournaments to help improve their strategies and their game. So for this year, until we build the program up right now, we're just going to the tournaments that are at Wilbur Mills Co-op. So we just went to one um, in October and then we'll go to another one in April. The chess team looks to rebuild itself after its hasty last couple of years. We definitely want to grow the program. So again, it's been a couple of years since there's been a team here at the high school. So we would love to have more students join and build it up. And then at that point, we can look at going to some other tournaments. There are some Saturday tournaments um, around the state that we could participate in if we chose to do that. There's a lot to love about chess, but Katie Lawson's favorite part is seeing the kids enjoy and how much passion they put into the game. I love that it gives kids the opportunity to play because there really are some kids who are really into chess so I love that but I also I like interacting with the kids it's good to get to see these students and see them excited about an academic sport. With the club starting to find its footing and the passion that everyone brings to the table we're excited to see what the chess club has in store for us in the future. I'm Jordan Jones now back to the news desk. Thanks for that update Jordan. Man there are so many clubs here at our high school it can be hard to keep up sometimes. Unfortunately so but for now let's move on to some local news. In local news, a Southwest Arkansas sheriff has been arrested on a single count of obstruction of justice, authorities said in a statement earlier this month. Shortly after taking office, Fink Boehner's leadership was placed in the spotlight when two of his deputies were arrested in the beating of an inmate being transported to another county. In national news, an 83-year-old woman died when she fell through a rotting floorboard in a deep hole. As she walked across the kitchen floor, part of it collapsed. The woman's daughter searched for her in the crawl space underneath the house and couldn't find her. Addies declared the death an accident and said he had never seen a death like this in his 31 years as a coroner in O'King County. U.S. Navy officials said they would discuss how they plan to remove a large aircraft from an environmentally sensitive Hawaii bay after it overshot a runway last week. The Navy placed two temporary floating barriers around the PAA aircraft at, at its resting spot in the shallow waters of Kanoe Bay 
uh, to prevent any potential fuel spill or other contaminants from polluting the ocean, state environmental officials expect to conduct a damage assessment uh, once the plane is removed. Kanoe Bay is home to coral reefs, an ancient Hawaiian fish pond, and a breeding ground for hammerhead sharks. There were no injuries to the nine people who were on board when the plane landed in the water. I feel like I'm getting chilly here in the studio. I practically have icicles on my nose in the morning. Let's send it over to Lily Lindsay with our weather. Happy Wednesday, Cersei, and let's get right into some weather updates. I'm Lily Lindsay. Today we're going to be having a high of 63, mostly sunny, with a 5% chance of rain, winds traveling southwest at 10 miles per hour, your humidity at 52%, and your sun rose at 6.55 a.m. On to tonight. Tonight you're going to be having a low of 41 with mostly cloudy skies, rain at 23% chance, winds traveling south-southwest at 5 miles per hour, humidity at 73%, and your sun is going to set at 4.55 p.m. On to the almanac. This last week you had a high of 57, a low of 37, and your monthly average of precipitation is 4.77 inches, and your month today is 1.86 inches. On to that five cast. On Thursday, you're going to have rain with a 54 degrees as your high and 50 as your low, 99% chance of rain. On Friday, you'll have mostly cloudy skies with a 59 as your high and 41 as your low, 24% chance of rain. Saturday, you're going to be having p.m. showers with a 58 degrees as your high, 46 as your low, and 32% chance of rain. On Sunday, you're going to be having partly cloudy skies with a 62 as your high, a 42 as your low, 22% chance of rain. And on Monday, we're going to be having sunny skies, high of 59, low of 39, and a 16% chance of rain. I'm so glad it's finally starting to cool off. Yeah, I'm glad I brought my gloves. What's for lunch today, Jordan? For lunch, we'll be having barbecue pulled pork sandwich, Boston baked beans, classic cheese pizza, fajita marinated chicken, crinkle cut fries, apple salad with yogurt dressing, and milk. Linus, are you ready to jam out? Eric and Connor have one of your fave discogs. Oh, yes, Jordan. The d discog highlights Jack Stauber. What's up, Cersei High? I'm Eric Crowley. And I'm Connor Love. And welcome to another fantastic episode of Discography. For this episode of Discography, we'll be talking about internet personality and musician Jack Stauber. And for this episode, we're going to need someone who really knows his music well, and that will be Lion TV's very own Linus Bowman. Hello there, glad to be on the show. Hey Linus, so could you tell us a bit about Jack for us? Gladly. Jack Stopper is well known for his VHS aesthetic-like live action, stop motion, and computer animated music videos, which have been featured in, in many internet memes. He fronted the band Juice. He, he joined the band Zaki as its lead singer. The band released a self-titled album in 2018. Speaking of albums, in 2013, he will release his first studio album, Finite Form, with songs like Smooth, My Sight, Misled, and Runaway. Two years later, he would release Viator, the, with songs like Bermuda, Barb, Mists, Vanilla, and Lifeline. In 2017, he released Pop Food, featuring songs like Oklahoma, I Understand, Safe Socks, and one of the most well-known being, Buttercup. In the very next year, he would go on to release High Low, featuring songs such as Getting My Mom On, Small World, Leopard, and Hour. Some of his popular VHS videos consist of Picnic, Inchman, 65 Baby, Cheeseburger Family, and Peppermint. Can I have a peppermint? You can have a peppermint. That's too hot for me. Hey! Those videos are really reeling to that much popularity. Yeah, but what do people around SHS think about him? I don't know. Let's ask him. What is your favorite Jack Stauber song? Buttercup. Oh, that's what everyone thinks. Yeah, well, that's all the time we have for you today, Cersei. Signing off, I'm Eric Kroll. I'm Connor Love. And I'm Linus Bowman. Thanks so much for having me here. No problem. Now, send it back to the news desk. Peace out. I'm so glad Discography covered Jack Stauber. He's one of my favorite artists. Now, I wonder what's been going on in the sports world lately. I don't know. I was too busy eating turkey over the break to keep up. Let's see what Jacob Showy has in store for us.
Happy Wednesday, Cersei High. I hope everyone had an amazing Thanksgiving break. We have a lot of sports updates to cover since the last time we talked, so let's jump right into it. In local sports, the Cersei Lions wrestling team started their season this week with them having their Little Rock Central duel here at, at Cersei on Tuesday. And then another match tomorrow where they'll take on Sylvan Hills here at the high school tomorrow. The Cersei Lions bowling team also gets their season started this week as they take on the Panthers and Cabot on Thursday. The 2023 Cersei Bank Classic started here at Lions Arena on Monday. Both the boys and girls had a game yesterday where the boys took on Newport while the girls took on Mountain Home. The girls have three games left in the Classic with them playing on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and the boys will only have two more with them playing on Friday and Saturday. We were able to catch an interview with boys head coach, Coach Heron, on what the Bank Classic means for the team. It's going to be a big deal for us, 16 teams here, eight boys, eight girls, a lot of good teams in the tournament. Uh, we're looking forward to being able to play three games and get a kind of a tournament feel, just continuing to, to work on chemistry, get those young guys um, into a role and uh, just get our team ready to, to go uh, by conference season in January. Moving on to national sports, NFL fans were happy to watch a few divisional games during their Thanksgiving day. The Detroit Lions started it off against the Packers where Green Bay secured a win 29-22. This game was shortly followed by the Washington Commanders suffering a devastating loss 10-45 against the Cowboys. Week 13 will start tomorrow where we see Seattle travel to Arlington to take on Dallas. In college football, one of the most anticipated games of the season happened where we saw a conference rivals and number two Ohio State take on number three Michigan Wolverines. For the third straight year, Michigan took down Ohio State in a close one, 30 to 24, to secure a trip to the Big Ten Championship game and potentially lock up a spot in the college football playoffs. In the NHL, Dean Evason was fired as coach of the Minnesota Wild and was replaced by John Hines on Monday. The Wild have lost seven in a row following a 4-1 loss to the Detroit Red Wings on Sunday. Assistant coach Bob Wood was also relieved of his duties. Evason is the second coach to be fired this season. In the NBA, Kevin Durant missed his second consecutive game because of a sore right foot, leaving the Phoenix Suns star unable to play in his first game in New York since being traded last February from Brooklyn. Durant worked out on the court before the game to test his foot, but the Suns later announced he would be out again. Phoenix won 116-113 to despite Durant's absence as Devin Booker hit a tie-breaking three-pointer with 1.7 seconds left to seal the victory. Well, Cersei, that's all the sports updates I have for you this Wednesday. Now let's send it back to the news desk with Linus and Jordan. Thanks for catching us up on those sports updates, Jacob. Unfortunately, I think we've reached the end of another show, Cersei. Don't forget to subscribe our, to our YouTube channel at Cersei High Lion TV. And to follow us on X at Lion TV, Instagram at Cersei Lion TV, and on Facebook at Cersei High Lion TV. Signing off, I'm Jordan Bowman. And I'm Linus Bowman. See you Friday, Cersei.